Good morning uh, once again and, and very warm welcome to our university. This is really great pleasure to have so many young entrepreneurs, uh, distinguished businessmen as well academic people in our university. So I have some slides just to describe what our university is going on currently and, and how it actually connects to innovation and entrepreneurship. So basically, it is a very similar story for us as for young entrepreneurs or any company. We are very much focusing on attracting different talents. Uh, very talented professors from international countries and also talented students. And also we actually put a focus on very strong cooperation with companies. So our university is truly an entrepreneurial university. And by saying that, I can give even the facts for example, our university earns 50% of budget ourselves. So it's very important to be active in cooperation with companies and, and other agencies and institutions. So in our university, we're currently focusing to understand what is a future engineering mind actually is. So what is a future student actually looking for? And this is our major activities in this university. And we put a lot of emphasis to develop this kind of interdisciplinary approach to education and research. So it's very similar again as companies do. If you start a young company, you have to have great engineer, great manager, and also great uh, marketing and, and, and uh, promotion person. So this university has all components from engineering, technology, business, and also social studies and, and, and research. In terms of our study programs, we just decided to make a great reform. We are going to put a business uh, and entrepreneurship module in every study program, in every engineering, technology, and any other programs what we have. So this is kind of new trends for us to educate also engineers, technology students, as we do in, in our business school. But more and more, we want to understand what is a sort of next generation study process and, and research process means. And therefore, we're actually developing kindly, completely new platforms, how students can learn and, and, and really create value in university. And therefore, our professors actually developing kind of new capabilities. Many of our professors actually behave like a bridge building persons or, or brokers. They try to connect our students with companies, with other in institutions, universities, from international and also locally. So our professors actually are the bridge builders for students and our colleagues as well. So our mantra or formula is very, very simple. We, in order to be competitive, you need to be internationally really strong university, and same applies for university, same applies for companies as well, especially for a young one when you start up. So for us, it's very clear when we want to be international, we need to go international in cooperation with companies. And therefore, I really welcome all companies interested in to cooperate with our university in any any areas, please uh, come, and we openly would like to develop this future in cooperation with you. Currently, our internationalization process is really growing very fast. We already have uh, 800 international students from 65 different countries. You probably know that headquarters of Skype is just in our campus. It adds even more, like a four or 500 international uh, engineers and technology persons. So in this campus, we have more than 1,000 international professionals in technology area. And we are really proud that quality of uh, these studies and research, what we make here, is really appreciated highly by international students. And according to this international study, ESN, uh, Estonia, and our students ranked as a number one in terms of satisfaction with stay. But when you take satisfaction with uh, education and study programs, we were listed as a, as a number 10 uh, globally. So for us, of course, uh, most important uh, challenge or vision in our strategies is to become very strong research university. And this is, of course, we expect to carry out in cooperation with companies. And we already actually publish our research results on most prestigious research journals all over the world. And this is only one example of our research of publishing articles in Nature magazine. Or, or if you take uh, 
any other limits, for example, we are very active also in the space industry, for example, our, our university actually delivering 10 projects per year in space area, and currently we have a two agreements with European Space Agency to deliver very special research carried out in ISS, International Space Station. So for us, it's very important to have very strong international and strong partners. Same applies for young entrepreneurs or startups. And our partners currently are, of course, international big corporations and also local ones, but we are more and more developing this kind of ecosystem in our campus. And maybe some of you know 250 high-tech companies actually in our campus doing everyday business. So we are very active in building this kind of ecosystem of strategic partners. And we, of course, provide a lot of international study programs. We teach, for example, 16 study programs in English. So this is a very short list of these programs. I'll just give you some examples of latest study programs we provide, which is very helpful for startups as well. Healthcare uh, technology is a very interesting program. We're combining ICT competence in Estonia as well, healthcare uh, syst systemic research and systems. Another program, actually it's world famous program, cybersecurity. Uh, it's, um, Estonia is a basically a competence center globally in terms of cybersecurity and we develop a lot of research and, and education based on these topics. More and more design and engineering getting uh, popularity and this program is actually where interdisciplinary uh, actually you can really see and touch it where business students, engineering students and ICT students actually develop application in cooperation just like in startup companies what we are developing currently during this uh, conference. But more and more, of course, you have to understand legal aspects. If your startup company is already going internationally, and if you are, for example, a startup in, in five, 10, or 20 different countries, you have to understand what are legal aspects if you implement your technology, if you really make innovation happen. So these are our study programs recently developed, but we are now building very special places in the world so we are actually developing our office in Silicon Valley and also preparing our office in Shanghai. In uh, Shanghai and in China, we have a road shows basically every six months. And this is our great activities. We train our, uh, our students in China as well. But in Silicon Valley, we have office already from September. And uh, we cooperate, of course, strongly with Stanford University and Berkeley University. With Berkeley University, we have cooperation in all levels, student exchange, researchers exchange, and also staff exchange. But uh, what is even more, we actually select best of our students and put them into the plane, and we are sending into Silicon Valley and train in Silicon Valley. So this is our great opportunity. And a lot of professors from Stanford and, and Berkeley actually coming to our university, giving lectures, mentoring startups and, and, and companies. So we are looking for this kind of super agile innovation pattern dealing in, in, in Silicon Valley and Shanghai. And this is for us very important because we believe innovation has to be topic on everyday teaching, on everyday, everyday research day, and same applies for startups. So don't take innovation as a separate island or department. And therefore, we have developed a very unique platform, which is called Mectory. Mectory actually takes startups and, and, and big companies and, and puts into cooperation with professors during academic studies, especially on master's thesis level. So that's why Wired magazine entitled Estonia, but particularly Tallinn, as a really hottest capital of startups. Many of these startups actually originated from, from our campus, and we are really very proud of that, and also because of our partners. And that's why we're actually developing this kind of special innovation ecosystem, and we are very welcome you to Innovation, European Innovation Academy this summer, and you have a nice leaflets uh, and promotion materials on your, on your tools. Thank you very much. I wish uh, this conference really success. It's great honor to have uh, everybody here, and let's hope we have a really great startups coming up from this initiative. Thank you very much.